Other interesting business news, you have Marshalls and TJ Maxx to have their employees wear body cams in a futile attempt to decrease store theft. I say futile because, again, district attorneys, depending on where you live, probably won't do anything anyway. Now, this was first brought to us thanks to um, N. Jane Forbes, who, I mean, of all the places she could work, she works at USA Today. I mean, that, that is a silly name. Her name is Forbes. I mean, it's almost as silly as being named something like Topping. Oh, wait. I partially digress. I mean, it is kind of silly. She does not work at Forbes, but nevertheless, she says, quote, TJ Maxx's parent company wants to curb shoplifting with a police tactic, body cameras. Now, TJ Maxx is the parent company behind TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Marshalls, announced it'll be bringing them to crack down on theft. Now, it says that not every associate will be eligible to wear the body cam, but many will. They'll also say their, watch, their loss prevention team will be wearing them. And will this actually have any crackdown on crime? I mean, there is millions upon, I mean, I think Target alone estimated to lose $400 million in theft during 2023. I mean, it's absolutely out of control. And yet, I don't think it'll actually do any good to have these cameras. Now, they ask, you know, who can obtain this body camera footage? They say, you get the video from the cameras, you'll have to be a law enforcement officer or legal representative that is requesting with a subpoena. So, in terms of privacy, it's good that, because again, some companies don't even act, they'll just acquiesce to anything, just a simple call. They're at least saying they're not going to give the data out unless they are required legally with a subpoena. So, at least they're not just going to hand out your data willy-nilly. Now, again... We're not, they're just saying this in a, you know, stated ar did a article, it's not a contract with us or anything like that. But at least perhaps they've thought about that in terms of one of the hesitations consumers might have. Because again, a lot of people don't like to have cameras shoved in their faces most of the time, especially when they're just going to buy, what does TJ Maxx sell? Shirts or t-shirts? I'm by no means a lexicon of fashion. I buy one thing and make it last decades. But nevertheless, they say they're going to crack down on, you know, theft. It won't. That's just my three cents. It used to be two cents, but 40-year hyperinflation, got to be three cents. I say that because we already have evidence of people stealing and nothing happens. The best use case, bar none, is San Francisco, which, again, you get what you vote for. They voted to make it no longer a felony to steal up to $950. So now it's treated as a misdemeanor in that area of California. And that means that the justice system, when in the rare occasion where they do actually prosecute crime, well, they play it down from misdemeanor down a bit to basically nothing, rudimentary speaking. And we have instances where there's a CNN interviewer interviewing, oh, I was going to say re, word redundancies, but nevertheless, they're interviewing someone at a CVS or Walgreens, one of the two, and talking about shoplifting. During the interview, you had three people just go in and steal a bunch of stuff. No one did anything. They had a camera crew there. Nothing. I, it didn't deter these people one iota. A lot of people still have a hoodie or a mask on, so you're not going to see who they are. And I partially blame lawyers and insurance companies. The policy for main businesses is do not prosecute crime. Do not stop theft because they're worried about litigation, which again, if you're stealing something, all bets are off. If you're tripping, we've, we've become way too much of a litigious society and it's hurting businesses. It's hurting cultures, hurting people. Because again, we're paying for it because we're paying for high prices. Well, not me. I'll pay for clothing except every 10 years, obviously, but it's hurting a lot of consumers. So they're saying, oh yeah, these cameras will fix it. Nope. We have a culture problem, and again, we have those subsequent issues that I talked about. So, even with these cameras, I don't think it's going to change a darn thing. Again, these district attorneys, you also have a bunch of them who won't prosecute crime, depending on what, you know, what political side of the alley you are in some cases. So, they say this is going to stop crime, but do you think it will? I mean, the only thing I could possibly conceivably think of in terms of an ROI or why they might be really doing this is perhaps this will lower their insurance premiums. Maybe. But I don't think it'll actually have a substantial effect on the rate of shoplifting. But let me know in the comments, as always. It'll be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.